Ryan Moore hits the jackpot for the second time in his career. Settle in as we rewind the week with the latest edition of Monday Backspin from PGATour.com. At the 2011 Justin Timberlake Shriners Hospitals for Children Open, we watched as Las Vegas resident Kevin Na went lower than anyone had in tournament history, carding a 23 under par winning score. Well, fast forward exactly one year where we watched incredibly low scores again and another Las Vegas resident, Ryan Moore, go lower than anyone in the field, claiming not only his second victory, but also a new tournament record. Ryan Moore is an interesting player to talk about. He's unbelievably talented and broke onto the scene in 2005 when he claimed the Low-Am honors at the Masters. And then he turned professional. Moore entered the PGA Tour with high expectations, a four-time All-American and the 2005 Collegiate Player of the Year, and the numbers have been impressive. The 29-year-old has accumulated 33 top tens in his seven seasons on tour, but just one victory at the 2009 Wyndham Championship. That is, until now. Consistent, impressive play has now given Ryan Moore even more validation on the PGA Tour, and it came at exactly the right time. Moore carded a tournament record 24 under par, besting Nas' record from 2011 by one stroke. In the best part of this victory, well, Moore is leaving the 2012 season with a bang. Regardless of the outcome, he was not going to play another tournament this season because he and his wife Nicole are expecting their first child at the end of October. So the Moore family returns to their home in Las Vegas on top, but there is another race we're keeping our eye on during the fall series, and that's the race to get inside the top 125 on the money list, guaranteeing their PGA Tour cards for the 2013 season. Here are the guys on the bubble that are fighting to keep their PGA Tour careers alive for another year. Sitting at 121 is Kevin Chappell, followed by Gary Christian, Billy Mayfair, David Mathis, and Jeff Maggart rounding out the list. But right on the outside looking in, sitting at 126 is Rob Pampling, followed by Retief Goosen, Bill Lundy, Bobby Gates, and Richard H. Lee. John Daly, after showing spurts of brilliance, collapsed on the weekend is projected at 132nd, but he has a few weeks left to get it done. Now for more on a memorable week in Vegas, let's head out to Fred Albers of Sirius XM PGA Tour Radio. Amanda, every week the PGA Tour donates millions of dollars to charity and certainly all charities are very worthy, but I think this week is very special since the monies go to Shriners Children's Hospitals. I know you say the word Shriners and people think of the guys running around with the funny little hats. Well, there's nothing funny about helping children and the only thing funny is the smile they put on children's faces. That's what I'm going to remember this week, Amanda, a very worthwhile charity in Shriners Children's Hospitals. Now, Amanda, I know what you're asking. Do you know the way to San Jose? The answer is absolutely yes, because we are headed out to Cordovale and the Fries.com Open. Our broadcast on Sirius XM, PGA Tour Radio, begins at 1 o'clock Eastern Time on Thursday. Thanks, Fred. Like you said, next up, we're off to the Fries.com Open. Be sure to check out the PGA Tour Today preview on PGATour.com Wednesday.